Get up. Now. Why don't you just sod off and buy some other school? Right, you. I've tried letting you go your own way and it's backfired in my face. So that's it. You're going to stop your arsey attitude to me and your teachers. You know where my attitude comes from. Get in the shower. <laughs> Mr. Emery? Yeah. Your first headache of the day. Sit down. So what's the game then, eh? Fancied some revenge for getting caught out plying underage girls with drink. Just didn't like the design. Listen, that model is a symbol of all of your father's achievements. Don't you realise how proud he is of what he's doing for the school? Yeah. That's why it felt brilliant to smash it to bits. Look, we know you've got a thing about your father, but you don't get your own back by behaving like a two-year-old child. You tried having a normal conversation with him. You could have tried having a discussion with one of us, instead of resorting to violence. Sometimes actions speak louder than words, yeah? Well, let me just put you straight, yeah? All your actions are saying is that I'm a spoilt little brat. So you better think up some better words. Go and get yourself to your first class. What is there to think about? If that had been any other pupil, they'd be out the door by now. That's what's to think about. The impact on our league table results. We're potentially looking at four straight A's, though. Jack, you cannot have one rule for everybody else and a special one for him. Have a look in there, see if you can find anyone else who's going to get higher than a C. Better results mean more pupils, more government funding. So what, are we supposed to just turn a blind eye to anything else he does in the school? I'm not saying that. Davina, can you get me planning papers ready? Yes, Mr. Emma. Look, obviously I'll have to give Roger a call. Get him to do the disciplining at home. Can you not get through to her? What's at stake here? We've had to move the swimming pool from its initial location because it cut across the supply lines to the main buildings. I'll be able to show you better on the model after the meeting. Um, I was going to raise this under any other business, but... Um... Your model is no more. No more? What are you talking about? It's been smashed to pieces, I'm afraid. A pupil's taken a heavy object to it. Well, I hope you're showing this pupil the flaming door. I suppose I should say your son, Brett, is responsible. What? Look, I'm sure you'd rather deal with his issues yourself, Roger. What's more of a concern to me at the moment is our present cash flow situation. I mean, we've got A-level groups with no textbooks. Listen, Rimmer. I proved my commitment with the new sixth form common room. The finance committee has agreed on the rest of the interim payments plan. And I don't want any special privileges for my son. If he's done what you've said, then he's out. Eh? I mean it. And I'll be telling him so tonight. Look, all you need to do is to reel him in a bit. I mean, he's not a bad lad, is he? We all think he's got a lot going for himself. Are you listening to me at all? I can see that he's embarrassed you. Why don't I get our head of pastoral, Miss Campbell, to have a word with him, yeah? I'm sure she'll get to the bottom of what's going on in his head. I know what's going on in his head. Adolescent hormones, and I suspect it's you he's trying to take a pop at. Bottom line is, if he can't fit in here, then I'm sending him back to Kingsmere College. End of. Now, I'd be grateful if you'd leave us to get on with our planning meeting, seeing as how your own role in the new academy is not yet assured. Nigel? Would you mind, Mr. Rimmer? 